You said he liked your hair. Imagine oh, that. Like your two, Alan. So, girls, we've got some emails here. Um, Oliver says that his favourite character is Luke because he's so clever and oh. always saves the day. Oh, why is uh, Jada? Well, who's your, why do you like? Do you like Luke? He's good, isn't he? Um, yeah. Why is, why is he so good? He's clever and he knows everything. And uh, he's not got a belly button. I think you find that's so good. <laughs> you, you, you all got belly buttons. Yeah. yeah. Thought so. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, here, I got a belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Love belly button it's a bad one. So if you've got a belly button or if you like Sarah Jane, email it cbbc at bbc.co.uk. We'll see you right after Bamzuki. Oh. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Brand new Bamzuki. See ya. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Street rules bring on the virtual revolution. So, who thinks they've got what it takes to be a champion? Teams, make yourselves known. Hi, I'm Nikhil. We're Zook Skywalker. Our Zook is going to win because we got the power of the force behind us. Hi, I'm Helen. We're Cocktail and we've definitely got the most stylish Zook. Hi, I'm Jonathan. We're Coralotianus and our Zook's the best because it's got a totally awesome and unpronounceable name. Hi, I'm Mark. We're Weedly Monster and we're going to win because our Zook's got a bit of everything. <laughs> selected. Maintain radio silence. He's on his way. The authorities have issued a statement. In the event of any unusual or suspicious activity in your area, citizens must contact the police and stay off the streets. A secret organisation known as Bamzuki is understood to be responsible for the disturbances. Their leader is known to the police, but so far he's evaded all attempts to track him down. It's the most exclusive invitation in the sporting world. Thousands apply, but only the best of the best get the call. If you want to make it on Bamzuki, you need brains, brawn and beauty. And that's just your Zook. Check out this lot. In lane one, the Weedly Monster. He's got legs, but does he know how to use them? In lane two, Cocktail. Well, there's definitely some banana in there. In lane three, Coralationus. Looks mean, sounds clever. Canny Road Race. And finally, Zook Skywalker. Use the Force, Zook. And it's go! And straight away, Coralationus into the lead, followed by Cocktail with Zook Skywalker and Weedly Monster bringing up the rear. Well, look at Coralationus go there, stretching into an early lead from Cocktail. Takes the corner. Ooh, pretty well. Just misses that bollard. There's Cocktail, not really able to close the gap. Well, this is the first chance we've got to see these Zooks in action. And here comes Coralationus. Look out! Whoa! Well, look at that. Confident. Well, maybe cheeky. You decide. Cocktail giving chase there. As Coralationus now stretches out his lead. Remember, whoever wins this race gets to choose who they face in the head-to-head. -head. Our agent there getting a split time as Coralationus races by. Luckily, the streets deserted. Cocktail in hot pursuit. Well, as we come into this final straight, it's really looking like Coralationus. Coralationus now with a big lead from Cocktail. There's his team cheering him on. Really a dominant performance. He crosses the line. A worthy winner. Well, really laying down the gauntlet there, Coralationus into the arena. Well, in second place, it's going to be Cocktail. No threat, he's going to lose that. Of course, this could come into play as the fastest loser. Cocktail takes that. And now, where, where are the other two? Well, well, here they are. Do, do they know they're in a race? Well, let's hope they do, because they've still got the final corner and the final straight. It really is just now all about honour. Who is going to come third? They're making a bit of a race of it now as they sprint towards the line. Weedly Monster, I think, just has it there from Zook Skywalker. So let's get confirmation. Coralationus, the winner. He now gets to choose who he goes up against in the head-to-head. -head. What a decision.
All right, team captains, walk this way. So, you can talk the talk, but can your Zook walk the walk? It's time to find out. Going down. Pay attention. Speed, strength and agility may have got your Zook this far, but from here on in, strategy and skill play a big part. Four Zooks, three levels and only two places in the finale. You do the math. Zooks are going to get bamzooked. Well, Coralatianus needs no introduction, but who will he go up against? Cocktail is a mover and a shaker, but as the smallest, she might look like the soft option. Weedly Monster could be the obvious choice. He was light and slow. Although Skywalker wasn't the quickest, but he does have the force, allegedly. Bonjour. Hola. Auf Wiedersehen. Language is no barrier to a zook. First Britain and then world domination. What's the first rule of bamzooking? Do not talk about bamzooking. Jonathan, it's time. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Cocktail. She's the smallest, wimpiest zook here, and she's got, got, hasn't got a chance. And also came second in the street race? Me. <laughs> Me thinks Jonathan might like a challenge. Well, you're about to get one. Ah, it's Cat to the Fly. And here's Peachy and Derek to show you how to play. Capture the flag. It's simple. Right, Peachy? Right, Derek? Shall go to cross the bridge and collect your flag, then scuttle back home. Easy, right? Well, it would be if it wasn't for the drones. Oh, bad luck, Peachy. If you can get past them, grab the flag and return home to hoist it before your opponent, then you are the winner, my friend. Nice one, Derek. <laughs> Come on in, teammates, grab a seat. So, Jonathan, did you make the right call? We're about to find out. Les jeux sont faits, mes amis. The game is up, les zooks are up. It is the best of three rounds, mais the best zook win. Correlationis up against Cocktail. Both Zooks told to go, we know they're both quick, but this game, all about timing, of course, and it's Cocktail who captures her flag first, turns and makes her way back. But, oh, she's got caught by a drone, and here comes Correlationis, sort of bundling his way past everyone. Well, he's taken the first round. That was so close, but Correlationis just pipped her at the post there. Are you feeling all right there, Helen? Yeah. Good. All right, that's not bad for starters, is it? Very tasty. Mmm, what's on the menu for round two? Well, Cocktail will be hoping a win, but let's see. <laughs> they both go. Cocktail gets a good clear run, early lead, but gets caught by a drone. Correlationis caught as well. Bit of a melee. And look, Cocktail's made it and turns. It doesn't turn very well. Corey turns, waits. That's given Cocktail the chance to get into the lead. But here again, and he's done it! Oh, Cocktail, you had the great start in both of those rounds, but you just seemed to get slurped in, swirled around and spat out. We're going to be seeing you in the Eliminator. Correlationis, it looks like, Jonathan, you're always meant to be in first place, and Cocktail's always meant to be in second. Was there a tactic there that you thought you might stick to, which is why you've won? Nope. Just shout, go. Nope. Correlationis does the rest. Excellent. Super! Casino. Go, go, go was good enough for Correlationis. He's through. Cocktail heads to the Eliminator. So, my friends, are you ready to capture the flag? Oui. 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 But what about your zooks? Yeah. They look a bit underdone to me. Well, let's get cooking. It's time to go head to head. And it's Weedly Monster up against Zook Skywalker. Weedly Monster goes first, obviously he thought he saw a gap, but there's a drone there, and Skywalker's got involved as well. Bit of a melee, and they come out of it together. Skywalker into another drone, and Weedly Monster's wriggled free, captures the flag, and begins the return leg. Skywalker's got his flag now, and Weedly Monster has been upended by a drone. Surely that gives Skywalker the chance, but no, he's got caught, and somehow, somehow Weedly Monster's made it. He made a meal of that. Mmm, a certain aroma from the Weedly Monster there. Is that a bit of garlic with Zook? No, that is the smell of victory. All right, bring on round two. Weedly Monster against Skywalker. Skywalker needs this one. Uh, Weedly Monster. 
Monster goes first again and straight into a drone. And here comes Skywalker. He's avoided that drone, partially because of his good ground clearance. He's avoided that one. He captures his flag. He turns and he waits. Then he's told to go again. And he's gone straight into a drone. Not so good tactics there, but it doesn't really matter because Weedly Monster is nowhere. Skywalker's leveled it. Uh, just to be clear, Barney, was that the scent of victory or the scent of a draw? Yeah, OK. On reflection, I think you might be right. Yes, it was the smell of garlic. But it's all to play for. It's round three. It's the decider. Uh, and Wheatley go! Monster goes first again, and that's because he saw a gap, and that's a great first leg. Just gets past that drone, and he's got his flag comfortably. Turns to make the return journey. Briefly waiting, and really Skywalker lagging behind here. But look at this, the drones have got on top of Wheatley Monster, but he's free, and not only that, he's won it. The Force wasn't with you, Zook Skywalker. What happened? I don't know. They just went for me, I suppose, and that's how it goes. The drones got you. Never mind. Do you know what that means, though? You'll be joining Cocktail in the Eliminator. But that means that Weedly Monster, congratulations, you're going through to the next round. Well done. It's a big fat yes for Weedly Monster, for Zook Skywalker, the Eliminator. And now time for an ancient French tradition. The jewel can be so cruel, but if you win, phew you know the rule. Stop being a fool. Here's something cool. Ah! It is the pressure pusher. Pressure pusher is the ultimate test of Zook and Zookster. Shout attack to push the barrel into your opponent's half and retreat to return home. Pick your moment and attack again. To win, the barrel must be over the line and you must be safe on your side. Get caught in your opponent's zone when the klaxon goes and you're out. Simple, eh? Well, it would be if you knew how much time you had. Ready to rumble. Attention, les zooks. May the best zook win. <laughs> attack, attack, they cry, and the zooks obey. Well, looking at it, you'd think Zook Skywalker was easily the strongest of these two, and, well, I'm proved to be right with the barrel firmly in Cocktail's half. But that, of course, is only half of what you've got to do. You've got to get back to your own half to win. And Cocktail's managed to push the barrel briefly into Skywalker's half, but Skywalker's right on it and yet again pushes the barrel. When are they going to retreat? They know they've got to do it soon. He can't get caught there. They tell him to retreat, which gives Cocktail the chance to do it. Of course, we don't know when this is going to end. Cocktail gets the barrel only as far as the line before Skywalker, with his brute strength, is back on it. How long have we got left? The barrel's in Cocktail's half. Oh, it's over! And Skywalker was caught there! Oh, he threw it away! Relief for Cocktail. Ah, formidable! Zook, Fritz and Camembert! On tutti frutti. Oh la la. There's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is that your Zook is going on an adventure. Uh, the bad news is they're not coming back. But you've enjoyed yourselves, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. You walk away with smiley faces and your Zook's got a bit of a headache, but it's been worth it. Well, to console yourself, here's some advice from the master of the art of single combat. I would not want to test my strength against Mimi in an arm wrestle, partly because she does not actually have any arms, but mostly because she is a tough little Zook who doesn't back down easily. I wanted to show you just how strong and stubborn little Mimi could be, so I have come up with something I like to call the Baby's Blink First Big Time Battle. As the title so clearly suggests, in this battle, whoever blinks first is a big-time baby. Now, what little Mimi here does not know is that in 2005, I was runner-up in the European Staring Championships. So she has quite a challenge on her non-existent little hands against these two little warriors. Bring it on, Mimi. Bring it on.
My eyes have no moisture left in them. Must blink. Must blink. <laughs> Mummy! It's been nose to tail action all the way as the Zooks raced off, then faced off in the head to heads. Sadly, the force wasn't quite enough for Zook Skywalker, who lost out in a harrowing eliminator before leaving Weedly Monster, Cocktail, and the big fella, Coralationus, to fight it out on level two. <laughs> Bienvenue to level two. Yeah, that rhymes. Now, so far, you've done pretty well competing against each other. But how are you going to fare when you compete against the clock? Bearing in mind, the worst Zook is out of here, so give it some welly. Let's go. Behold, Demolition Zook. Go on, Beastie, show him how he's done. Demolition Zook is a knockdown frenzy against the clock with a twist. Introducing the Beast. Pick your zone and call it. Blue. Green. Blue and green, green are for lightweights. One point of hold. Yellow. Yellow. Something for the middleweights. These babies are five points each. Child's play for the beast. Red. Red. A mighty ten points of pylon. Show them how it's done, beastie. Timber. Play to your strengths. Bring the house down. Now, don't be fooled by the beast's display there. He's a very strong Zook, he's very big, and, of course, he was just showing off to impress Mimi. It's very important in this game that you play to your Zook's strength. Team Correlationis, are you ready? Yeah. He looks ready. <laughs> OK, good luck. It's time to play Demolition Zook. <laughs> Well, he calls green first, and Correlationis heads into green. Blue. Now he calls blue, obviously eager to get some of these easy points under his belt early on. <laughs> red. Now he's going for the big guns. Over to red. These, remember, ten points each. Indeed, he is causing green. some damage. But can he get past them to get to green? He's been told to go to green, but he's got a little bit caught there on a block. Gets another block knocked down, so at least that's ten points. Blue. Into the forest of green. And again, now heads back to blue, where he's already cleared this quite a path. Say. Doesn't really score many there. Yellow. Heads now finally to yellow for the five-pointers, but with only a few seconds remaining, how much damage can he do? Well, it's not bad. Got a bit caught. There goes the klaxon. Yeah! I think that's a good performance. Hey, nice work, Correlationis. You've caused quite a mess there. I think you probably scored quite highly. But have you done enough to secure a place in the final? We're not going to find out just yet, because it's round two. Team Weedly Monster, you're up next. Have you got a bit of a strategy going on? Yeah. Gonna share it with us? Uh, we're just gonna go around in a certain order. All right then, show them how it's done. And that certain order begins with blue. Weedly Monster in there causing some good damage. He's called now to yellow. These are five yellow, points yellow, each. Yellow. Makes his way over to yellow and, well, having a bit of trouble there. He, well, they've realised that pretty much straight away. Good tactics, but they've called green. He can't get to green. They changed their mind again. And he's heading to blue. And now red. Well, is this tactics or are they making it up as they go along? Well, he's finally making it over to red and, well, he keeps banging into those poles with his eye. I mean, that's got a sting. And he's knocked down a couple, but now he, he can't sort of get past them. And he's stuck there and time's running out. He's not going to get to green, I don't think. He scores a final 10 points and there goes the klaxon. Oh, you really struggled with those yellow ones there, Mark. How do you think you've done? Uh, not that well. Well, it ain't over till the fat Zook sings and there's no one singing yet, so uh, we'll find out how it's all going to go in round three. So, Verity, you've stepped forward for Team Cocktail. Now, you've seen two games played so far. Has that changed your tactics now? Um, not really. Well, don't forget, you've only got to beat one of those teams to go through to the final. If you don't, you lose and it's all your fault. Nervous? Yeah. <laughs> OK, it's time to play. Good luck. Remember, Cocktail only needs to do enough to beat Weedly Monster. 
That's a good start in the blues. She's called to red, but, well, she's not got much ground clearance this seat. Struggling a bit. Oh, takes one on her back. Well, full in the face, really. Ten points there, but has it really got the ground clearance to get off that pole? Yeah, you can shout all the colours you like. She is stuck fast. Oh, is she going to knock this one? Well, that's ten points, and that frees her. She heads to yellow. Nope, my mistake. Green, well, make your mind up. That's how to confuse a zook in one easy lesson. Got a few points there. Wants her to go back to yellow again. Well, I'm not sure she's got the design for this, and the clock really ticking away. One's down, but I tell you, this is going to be tight. Team Cocktail, a great round there in Demolition Zook. A little bit shaken by the yellow area, but not stirred by the red one. Do you think you've done enough to go through to the final? I hope so. Well, that was such a close game. It's actually too close for us to call. We're going to have to go to our fourth official and see what the final scores are. Well, Correlationis comes to be through, and it's Wheatley Monster who makes it just ahead of Cocktail. So, Correlationis, you're big, you're muscly. Wheatley Monster, you've got skill and you're quick. A perfect grand finale, I think. We'll see you there. Congratulations. Team Cocktail, you have two chances, Slim and none. Looks like Slim is out of time. <laughs> well, she might have been a bit slow, but she took her punishment like a real zook. I feel quite emotional. I wonder if Dr Vigo can help. Zooks are the weirdest creatures. Some of the more bizarre specimens have been sent in for examination. The surgery is open, so let's start the conveyor belt. Ah, this zook is called Arnold. Hmm. Now look, it is a man in a top hat riding a pink spider. The question, of course, with this zook is who is Arnold? Is it the man, the spider, or the hat? I used to have a beret called Pierre. This zook has been given the name Elephant. You can see why, can't you? It's the kind of name that does what it says on the tin. Look at her going. <laughs> she plods along so slowly. She's very strong, strong like an ox. Although, of course, she's not an ox. She's an elephant. You get the idea. This zook is called fish, although it actually looks like a lobster with a big pink sticky out tongue. If you ever get a lobster with a big pink sticky out tongue, send it back to the chef. Ah. Here is another fish. Now, check out this Zook's super exciting fighting style. It falls over and then flaps about on its side until its opponent becomes bored and wanders away. Clever, very clever. So you see, Zooks can be any shape or size. Sometimes with Zooks, it's the freakier the better. <laughs> Maybe that's why we get on so well. <laughs> I don't think he's a real doctor. Anyway, after four thrilling rounds of Zook action, the lineup is looking decidedly different. Zook Skywalker was the first casualty going out in the Eliminator. Cocktail survived that test, but not the next one, and had to face the chop. All this leaves Correlationis and the Weedly Monster to battle it out in the finale. I, for one, literally cannot wait. And finally, the finale. It's a masterpiece of bamzookery. All we need now is a room with a view. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Now, there's one sure way to separate the zooks from the zucchinis, and that's a bit of fresh air. So, whilst our challengers make their way to the starting line, let's see what they have to look forward to. Well, it's this. From the start, it's up the ramps, easier said than done, through the sliding doors, and into Aerial Alley, which is under cannon fire. Race across the reactor core and into your pipeline where all the traffic will be coming the other way. Once you pass those, you've got snapple jacks nipping at your heels before the final turn and the colossi. If you can get past them, you, my friend, are the winner. Piece of cake. So, what do you think, Jem? Who's your zook? Well, I'm a bit of a glory hunter, so I'm going to say Correlationis is going to continue with his winning streak and win. I think Weedley Monster's got a bit of skill, you know, and a bit of speed as well. So what about you, team captains? Jonathan, what do you think about Correlationis? What do you think on that course is going to give you problems? Nothing. Ah, confidence right there. How about you, Mark? I think maybe the, uh, uh, the cannons, maybe. OK. I think we can maybe power them through there somewhere. Do you want to find out? Yeah. Let's not stand on ceremony. Let's do battle. 
Well, Correlatio on the set, the early pace in this competition, and he's doing it again here, up the ramps with a clear lead already from Weedley Monster. Correlatio turns into the sliding door, no problems. Well, except that he's chosen the wrong way to go there and got stuck, which is giving Weedley Monster, who's definitely the slower of these two Zooks, the chance to catch up. Well, Correlatio has made a right mess of that. How are they going to deal with the cannons? A Weedley Monster. They're not doing too bad for a small zoo. Here they come, but here comes Correlationus closing up, blasting his way through there. As they head on to the reactor core, Correlationus has regained the lead. Weedley Monster getting caught on the poles. Well, Correlationus now heads into the boulders, deals with the first lot. Weedley Monster just making it over the core. Corrie getting a bit stuck there, but he's through and into the Snapple Jacks. Weedley Monster's got to pull something out of the bag here. He's getting a bit of a bat there from the boulders they're cheering him on he turns a little bit of a diversion there but look at this Correlationus has a clear lead just going to negotiate the colossi oh no messing i tell you what he's a tough suit and not only that he's the winner i give you Correlationus. Well, just in case you had your eyes closed in that last race, Correlationus did it and has won a place in the semis. Winning, my friends, is a habit. Unfortunately, I was losing. Mark and Team Weirdly Monster, how are you feeling? Uh, a bit disappointed. Yeah. But, you know, all's not lost yet. Yes, that's right, because you are safe for now, clinging by those little claws to the hope that you might just make it to the semis as a fastest loser. Here's the full picture. Well, Weedley Monster has given himself a fighting chance. He is currently our fastest loser. Next time, four more plucky zooks risk life and limbs to reach the grand final. In the meantime, log on, sign in, and show the zook doctor what you're made of. We're counting on you. So, which show rules? Malzuki Street rules! Uh, that was my line. What do you think of these celebrity zooks? Are they worthy enough to be allowed into the club? Let me know what you think on the message board. Hello, welcome back. Today we are enjoying the Surgeon Avengers. Yeah. Nay, we're loving. Surgeon Adventures, and that is why we are joined by three Sailor Jane superfans, Joey, Jada, and Beth. Say hello, girls. Give a big wave. Big wave. Hello. Yes, and to find out who is the largest superfan, it's time for this. Hackers. S Sarah Jane. Where's the dream? Yes, it's time for Hackers Quiz of Dreams. Girls, if you haven't seen it before, and I'm sure you have, because like JLS have done it, and like Tommy and Danny what? from Sarah Jane have done it. Yeah. And JLS have done it, I've said it already. Yeah. I've done it. And what we're gonna do is, when Hacker says, hit, no, no, when Hacker, it. hit it, you pass Pudsy Bear. When he says, ha. whoever's holding the Pudsy Bear has to answer a question. The person with the most correct answers wins. Absolutely nothing. What? Are you ready to play? Are you excited? So Beth, you can start with the Pudsy, and you start passing it when Hacker says, hit it! Go, pass it, pass the Pudsy! Hi. Oh, it's Jada, it was Jada, it was Jada. Jada, Jada. your first question is, can you name this alien? Trickstar. Trickstar, oh. correct! Yeah. One point. Hit it! Pass it again, pass the Pudsy! <laughs> oh, that was Beth, that was Beth, let's go to Beth. Right, okay, Beth. The question is this, and it is from Chloe White. Hello, oh, Chloe, you're well. Hello. And it is, can you do a K9 impression? Oh. I don't want to do an impression. If you want a point, you're going to do one. Oh, it's a fail! Oh. Hacker can. Ah, uh, mistress, oh, mistress. So Hacker's got a point. Oh. Yay! Hit it. Hit it! Pass the Bonsie. <laughs> Do 
Oh, here we are. This is the video round. Oh. The question is, which scene are me and Hacker reenacting? We got, we got a video. This is it. Do you lie, your lovers? Well, Sarah Jane smiled as you were wife. What you can love and not. Go on then, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'd love to, yeah. In a right locker. Oh. Stop this wedding now. You're all right, you little rascals. Come on, Pudsy. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so the question to you are, what scene did we just reenact? When the duck pig comes in and says, stop, what, stop the wedding. Yes, yeah, it's a point for Joey! Hey, hit it! Hit it, pass it to Pudsy! Pass to Pudsy. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Can you name this alien from the Sarah Jane Adventures? Oh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name now.